fourth quarter podcast with your host Matt. Got the other host Keegan. Hi, I'm back again. It's been and, a minute. Uh, it's been a minute. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, free agency, all the moves, free agency so far, uh, at least for the NBA. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with John Collins from the Atlanta Hawks. Signing a five-year, $125 million contract to stay with the Hawks. Is he good? Yeah. He was pretty good. He played his, played his part with Trey Young uh, with the Atlanta Hawks, making it to the Eastern Conference Finals this year. Uh, Trey Young, uh, Trey Young also re-signed, I believe, for five, five years. I think a uh, little bit less than 200 mil this year. So it's still good to see Atlanta keeping their two su- uh, young superstars. John Martin Collins, the third. Yeah. What a cool guy. Um, second on the list, uh, we have Chris Paul coming back to the Phoenix Suns. Yes. What? <laughs> he sucks. He doesn't he suck. Too much. He just has a He's history a of choking. He's a failure. Uh, contract, four years, 120 mil. Still pretty deserving. You actually know by the time he hits 40, he'll have enough money in the NBA. Or not even in the NBA, but like. In general? Yeah, he'll have so much money. Like, that contract is going to pay him all the way until he's like 42. And he's 36 right now. Good on Chris Paul. Yep. Oh, they have RFAs in the NBA? Yeah, yeah restricted free agents. Uh, the Cavs. Keeping Jared Allen for five years, 100 mil. That's a pretty good move, pretty good signing. Keeping like Josh Allen, is he related to Josh Allen? No, not Josh Allen. Jared Allen. Well, yeah, but I'm saying is he related? No, nah, Josh Allen, Allen is a name. small forward. He, so plays, for they, the, they he plays for the Pistons now. Huh? Are they short, small forwards? Small forwards are like probably like the minimum, or not minimum, but like the s- standard height for a team. So what, 6'3 or something? No, 6'3 would be like a point guard. So 6'2"? No, one? for a small forward, I'd say average is like six seven, six eight. Wait, what? Yeah, for they call average. them tall forwards. No, that's stupid. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, we have Jared Allen staying in Cleveland. Cleveland, that's a smart move. You still have Colin Sexton, uh, Darius Garland, and you have Jared Allen with uh, the power forward, the rookie that they just drafted. So that'll be a good starting five. Uh, Norman Powell staying in Portland. Uh, five years, 90 mil. Not too bad. I still think it's a little overpriced for Norman Powell, especially for five years. Uh, he played his part in Toronto during that championship run. But nonetheless. Did they win again? 2019, right? 2019. Yep. Yeah, Kyle Lowry going to Miami. The greatest Raptor Florida? of all time. Yes. Miami, Florida. For three years, 90 mil. The, um, the Miami, that, that Miami Heat team is going to be looking nice. With uh, Kyle Lowry, Tyler Kyle Lowry. Hero. Mm, I wouldn't even say Tyler Hero. Oh, he's not good anymore. He, he's kind of eh. What about Duncan Robinson? No, he's. We'll get guy. to him. We'll get to him. Oh, really? you, you'll you'll be shocked on these on this news. But you have Kyle Lowry. You have Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler. Uh, they did uh, just sign PJ Tucker from the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, to Miami, and you uh, have Bam Adebayo. I only know who PJ Tucker is because he has a shit ton of shoes. Yeah. Too many shoes. Yeah, he has a lot I of shoes. I know he has a lot of plugs. That's, yep. that's the only reason why I know who that is. Yep. Uh, and then speaking of Duncan Robinson, a five-year, $90 million contract, right? 90 mil per? Or just in total? No, 90 mil in total for oh, five years. But, but get this, right? He's the highest undrafted player ever. Like paying? Highest like ever, undrafted. like on a contract. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like highest paid undrafted player. Yep. And he went undrafted. Really? Mm-hmm. I keep I, I always forget going two rounds in the NBA. That's so weird. Yep. He Every went, other draft is seven rounds He went rounds undrafted. Plus. Yep. And the NBA has. Uh, we have Demar Derozan, which is probably one of the bigger f- uh, names in this free agency, going to Chicago for three years, eighty-five mil. That is a very good move, along with uh, Lonzo Ball going to Chicago for four years, eighty-five mil. Well, he's that a free agent? who ball, the ball brothers didn't reunite. No, actually, the third, uh, the middle Leandro, brother, Leandro, he went to the Hornets. He went, to the Hornets uh, he went to the Hornets. I saw that ESPN posted about that a yep. dozen times in yeah. the day. Yeah. So you have Demar and you have Lonzo going to Chicago, uh, joining sides with Zach Levine, uh, their power forward. I do not remember his name right now, but you still have Nikola Vucevic as your center. That's going to be a very scary team what coming out of the East. Nikola Vucevic? Vucevic. That's one hell of a name. I like that name. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, Evan Fournier to the Knicks for four years, 78 mil. I always thought Evan Fournier was over, like always one of those overpaid players, but from time to time again, like he'll still put up his numbers, still put up his stats to contribute to a team as a starting shooting guard in some situations of a team. But with the Knicks, that is a very good move for him to go to, a very solid team to go to. Uh, we have Tim Hardaway Jr. staying in Dallas with, uh, with Luka, four years, 74 mil. Is he related to Penny Hardaway? Who? Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway Jr. is related, related to Penny Hardaway. No. He has, he actually has a dad that played for the Heat, which is Tim Hardaway. Oh, that's why he's a junior. That's why he's a junior. Oh, that's insane. No. I didn't Penny, that. Penny Hardaway is another player, but mm. he has a dad that used to play in the Heat in the 90s called Tim Hardaway. Sick. But yeah, they, they kept him for Dallas, which is very good. Uh, Mike Conley staying in Utah, three years, 72 mil. I feel like three years is a safe call for Mike Conley because he used to be an all-star. He's not as good as what he used to be. So three years uh, for Utah, still kept Donovan Mitchell, and I like that group that they have. So that's still a very good team in the in the uh, the West. Spencer Dinwiddie goes to Washington for three years and 62 mil. Now, this was a good move for the Wizards, but it required a three-way deal with sign and trades. But the main loser in that deal were the Nets, where he used to play. You want to know why? Why? Because they basically got nothing for him. He went to Washington, and then in return, they traded with Indiana, Washington, and Brooklyn. And Brooklyn got in return a 2024 first-round pick. In a 2022 second round pick. And how's that nothing? Because Spencer Dinwiddie is a lot more valuable than that. A lot more valuable than two than a two picks. A lot They're more valuable. Pick. Huh? Well who, well, who did they get the picks from, though? Uh, I believe Indiana. I think the first round pick was from Indiana, and the second round pick was well, from Washington. Correct me if I'm wrong, but both Indiana and Washington are both kind of bad teams. Exactly, but a second round pick... But I'm just saying, I'm willing to bet money. I don't know anyone on these rosters. I'm willing to bet money that if they've been bad for as long as they have been, I know they've been pretty bad for some time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. If they've been as bad for as long as they've been, and they don't, they especially the Wizards that they traded Westbrook, I'm willing to bet those picks might end up being lottery picks in the future, two years from now. I doubt they do can have a complete change of scenery in just two years. I don't think so. I'm not too confident. But the Nets still got robbed with that Spencer Dinwiddie trade first, with him signing. First and second. Uh, we have Gary Trent Jr. staying in Toronto for three years, 54 mil. That was a very good move. Gary Trent Jr. is going to be a very key part in, to in uh, the Toronto's future with Pascal Siakam. Obviously, you lost Kyle Lowry, but Kyle Lowry is 36, 35. Um, but with that group going on right now, they still build up a couple more draft picks, signed a couple good-name free agents in Toronto, I still think would be a good team in the East. Not right now. Obviously, I think they're going back into that rebuild mode, but uh, still a good move by Toronto. Uh, we have Devontae Graham going to the Pelicans for four years and 47 mil. Now, Devontae is a known scorer for Charlotte, but this was before they picked up LaMelo. So he was basically their star before LaMelo, like a young star, I guess. Was he ever? Did he ever actually make it? What? Devontae Graham. Like, make it to what? Stardom. He he could have, but he was playing for the Hornets. Oh, so they ruined him? Not ruined. They didn't ruin him. He, like, he, obviously his numbers are going to look good because he's playing for a bad team. You know, like, he, th he's, he was their first scoring option. So, obviously, he's going to average a lot more points than other people on that team. But still, for him to go to uh, New Orleans, uh, I still think that was a pretty good pickup after losing um, Lonzo because Lonzo is still a good point guard. Uh, many people don't believe that. I do. Uh, but, yeah, still a very good pickup for New Orleans. Uh, we have Derrick Rose staying in the Knicks, staying in New York. This is the first time since the Nets have moved from uh, Brooklyn. Well, the Nets were never good until, like, 2019, 2018 maybe. But both New York teams actually have hope. Derrick Rose, no, not even in the future, just right now, currently. Well, you're now in the future. Yeah, 
like from here until you know the they future, the they have hope. Yes, because Derrick Rose, you know about Julius Randle, right? How yeah. he didn't show up. He was most improved player of the year, which was very deserving, but um, didn't show up in the playoffs. It was basically a 33-year-old Derrick Rose carrying the New York Knicks team against the Atlanta Hawks. And, New- and Derrick Rose obviously had his injury back in 2012, 2011. I know about my boy D. Rose from Low Pump. No, that's, that's not the same thing. Uh, we have Alex Caruso going to Chicago for four years, 37 mil. You know what I call Alex Caruso? What? The bald beauty. The bald beauty? The that's bald what you call him? The bald beauty. Uh, he will, I, that was a pretty good pickup from Chicago as well with uh, him, Zach Levine, DeMar, and Lonzo. Pretty good pickup. Uh, I don't know if he's going to uh, play the shooting guard position and Zach Levine is going to play the small forward position and DeMar plays the four. But I, if they do go with that starting five, I feel like it would fit because DeMar DeRozan did play most of the season last year at the power forward position. And he was pretty efficient. That's where he got most of his scoring and assists, all that from. So I feel like he'll still be pretty efficient playing the four if Alec, uh, uh, Alex Caruso plays the two at shooting guard. Um, we have Taylor Horton Tucker staying in L.A., 3 mil, 32 mil at 20 LA. years old. 20 years old. Uh, it was a pretty good signing. The Lakers are signing a lot of old people right now. A lot of old people right now. They're gonna be old and washed and bad. No, they won't. Nervous. They won't be bad. They they have they have their defenders. That'd they have funny. their slashers, and now they have their shooters. Obviously, they added Trevor Ariza. Uh, you add you added Dwight Howard, who came back from Philly. Uh, Andre Drummond went to Philly. I was I completely forgot that he did go to Philly. Um, Kyle Kuzma is shipped out to Washington. Uh, Trevor Ariza is coming back. And I believe... Carmelo. Yeah, and Carmelo Anthony. That's going to be a very fun team to watch. Carmelo I and, swear to God. Carmelo and LeBron being teammates I'm, after 19 seasons and being in the NBA. The same draft class. Yeah. That's you know, insane. Like 2003, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, it's insane. I was, in the, I was just I was talking about it earlier. I said it'd be very funny if they just suck. All the old heads just regress mightily. Yeah. They just become like fucking yeah. pylons on the court. Just all <laughs> suck. Don't know what the hell they're doing. But um, carrying on, Nerlens Noel staying as a Nick. Very big pickup. Or not even pickup, just. Yeah, Nerlens Noel. What a name, Nerlens. I'm going to name my kid Nerlens just to fuck with him. But um, still a very good signing to keep him there. The Knicks do need more big men. Uh, not more big men, but. Pretty big, big men uh, to play uh, defense for that team. Because right now, I feel like it's more guard-oriented on the uh, Knicks. Um, speaking of guards, the Knicks did uh, lose Reggie Bullock, who was pretty big for them in the playoffs. Uh, he went to Dallas for three years, 30 mil. Uh, I still think Dallas has too many shooting guards now with Luka. But even if you move Luka at the one to the point guard, you still have Tim Hardaway and Reggie Bullock. Reggie Bullock is going to be pretty key for them uh, coming off the bench. But nonetheless, still a very, very good pickup. Uh, Danny Green staying in Philly two years. Danny Green, what a legend. Two years, 20 mil. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that the guy who LeBron did to that too? What? Was it Danny Green? Wasn't he, wait, it, was that the guy who LeBron did this to or everyone started hating on? No, that was Jr. The J.R. Smith? Yeah. The meme? That's, that was the so meme. then he was the guy everyone Danny Green on. did beat LeBron in the finals, though, when he was on the Spurs. But that's when he was a very good player. <clears throat> this, he's like more of a washed-up version of himself, but he'll still be Wasn't, key for you. You know, but he was also the guy who... Uh, he was on that started, Lakers team Yeah, when he, he missed all the shots, and yeah. everyone started like, sending him death threats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I knew, it was, either, I knew yeah. it was either this no, or you're not. No, you're not wrong threats. about that, but he's still a very good shooter. Uh, he's going to be key for the 76ers. Uh, you have two great big men in Joel Embiid and um, Andre Drummond. I don't know about the Ben Simmons situation. Like I said, you should always trade him. Ben, ben Simmons, Simmons is not going to work out for you know, Philly. Do you hear about the return they want for him? I know. So they're, like they're, asking high, like a, they're, they're asking for a lot. They're they're asking a lot for him, bro. They are they are asking a lot for him. The return is um, like I said before. PJ Tucker going to Miami, two years, fifteen mil. Um, I don't know if it's the smartest decision for, for P.J. Tucker because he just came off of a championship with the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, 
but I guess he does see the potential in Miami. And like you know, why wouldn't you want to? Why wouldn't you want to live in Miami for two I, years? Call, you know? call, call, I have a gut feeling. The loser's player in the NHL named Patrick Maroon. He won, he won a chip in 2019 with St. Louis, and then went back to back with Tampa in 2020 and 2021. Yeah. That's what he's gonna do. Mm. He, this is like this is. He's I don't win. know, but he's PJ Tucker. PJ Tucker's old, but like. People people will say like he's old, he's not good, I'm but like saying, he will knock down his threes the, when you need. The writing him. is on the wall. He's gonna win with a team that hasn't won in like fifty years. He goes to a Florida team, well, they're no, gonna win back to back. The 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 well yeah, the Bucks haven't won in fifty years and then the Heat haven't won since twenty thirteen. That's the same thing as Tampa. As the both in Wait, Florida. Tampa hasn't won since twenty thirteen. Well, no, they haven't won since they had, before these two years they hadn't won since two thousand four. But they still uh, haven't okay. won in a good minute. Okay. So I'm just saying writing's on the wall. PJ Tucker's gonna be like I like got that. you. All right, uh, Rudy Gay going to Utah for two years, 14, uh, 12 mil, I'm sorry. What a name. Rudy Gay. Um, Rudy Gay is pretty old. He's 35 years old. I don't think uh, – I mean, it's a good move for Utah with uh, Joe Ingles, another shooter. Uh, Rudy Gobert is still another big. Rudy Gay is still going to play the four positions. They have so. two Rudys on their team? Who? Oh. The Rudy Gobert guys. and Rudy Gay. Yeah. Isn't Gobert the guy who did this to the mic? Yeah, yeah, with the, that's <laughs> – that's why everybody hates him. Other guy. Uh, he's still going to be a combination of both, I think, with Joe Ingles shooting and Rudy Gobert's. Who's the guy on Not the, size, but at least big man wise. Who's the really good guy on the Jazz? Like, Donovan Mitchell? Yeah, him. Okay. I was just he's their he's, franchise player I right say, now. I was about to say he's Devin Booker, but no, that's the Suns. No, that's the Suns. The finals. Yep. Uh, we have Patrick Mills going to Brooklyn for two years and uh, two years, 12 mil. I love this move so much because he has beaten LeBron. Uh, He's beating LeBron once in the finals. Uh, he came up big in that 2014 finals run. Against who? Huh? Who? who? Miami. Miami Heat? Yeah, with LeBron. With LeBron? With LeBron, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh. I thought you said, like, uh, they beat him. No, that wasn't. They went back to. They beat. The Miami Heat beat the Thunder with a young Kevin Durant, a young James Harden, and a young Russell Westbrook. In 2012, they, uh, they beat him in five. And then 2013. They beat the Spurs in uh, six or seven, and then 2014, the Spurs beat the Heat in six or seven, I believe, as well. But Patty Mills, uh, yeah, Pat Patty Mills, Patrick Mills, whatever you want to call him, he's going to be a very good backup for Kyrie Irving, especially even if Kyrie goes down. Obviously, he's not going to be on the same level as Kyrie, but if Kyrie Irving does go back to injury prone, uh, Patrick, uh, Patty Mills will still be a good guard to carry out throughout the regular season until the playoff run. Uh, we have Jeff Green going to Denver for two years, 10 mil. Uh, this was a pretty big loss for Brooklyn. Uh, Jeff Green and Kevin Durant obviously has been teammates since uh, the Seattle Supersonics days back in 2007. That's when they were both rookies. Uh, Jeff Green, he was a very key shooter, a very key big for them. And he just, he just wanted his money. So he shit, packed his bags and went to Denver. Uh, Bobby Portis, he uh, uh, first he declined his player option. He declined the option that the team gave him. Sorry, and he signed now for two years and nine mil. Uh, it's smart that the Milwaukee Bucks kept him with the loss of PJ Tucker. I do think uh, Bobby Wagner, uh, sorry Bobby Wagner, Bobby Portis uh, is a little bit more key to them and more important. Uh, we have Nicholas Batum staying with the Clippers for two uh, two years, six mil. Still another key shooter. He's currently playing for the French team in the 2020 uh, the 2020 Olympics, which is Team USA versus the France French yeah. in Didn't the finals. Lose? Huh? Didn't they lose? No. Is team, it gold medal? Yeah, it's gold medal. Didn't it, it's coming up, but Team USA just beat Australia. Is that hard? Pretty, pretty much. They're gonna lose what's actually plans. what's actually funny is that Patrick Patty Mills is actually Australian, and he signed his Brooklyn contract a day before uh, they played uh, yesterday. His teammates, yeah, KD and and, who and who's his, on his team is KD. KD, well, James Harden didn't play this year, he was in, but in basically, KD, his teammate, basically beat him in the international play, which I found pretty funny. If it was um, Nicola Batum, what? Let's yeah, Nicholas Batum. Uh, we have Ennis Cancer. Going back to Boston. Matt, I just want you to point out, you missed the legend JaVal McGee. You skipped over him. JaVale McGee? Yeah, JaVal, yeah, my boy I JaVal. was going to get to him. You skipped over him. I was going to get to him. Liar. All right, fine. 
We're going to do Ennis Cancer, though, uh, <laughs> signing for a one-year um, minimum vet. What country is he from? Ennis Cancer? I don't Sounds know by like heart. Czech or Slo- Slovakia. I don't know by Slovenia. heart, but I do I do know he's not American. But, you know, still, he's going back to Boston. Boston really doesn't have anything going for them with the loss of Kemba Walker. You still have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Swiss. Oh, he's Swiss? And it's Kansas. He's yeah. Swiss. You still have Jalen uh, Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. And you still have Robert Williams, which is an up-and-coming uh, big man for the Celtics. He's still pretty key. But even that... I still don't see anything in Boston right now. I feel like they will go into rebuild. They'll be one of those teams that are, like, contending but should rebuild. They'll be one of those teams. Uh, JaVale McGee <laughs> going to Phoenix for one uh, one year and five mil. Phoenix? Yeah, Phoenix. They're from Phoenix. But um, with uh, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Jay Crowder still staying there, and DeAndre Ayton, and now you have JaVale uh, that's still a pretty good starting five. JaVale, actually, he wasn't that good in the beginning of his career. He was just only known for Shaq and a Fool. I don't know if you've ever seen those memes. Shaq and a Fool? No? Oh, but uh, ever since he joined the Warriors, uh, won those two rings in the 2017-2018 uh, seasons, and then uh, went to Denver for one year and then joined the Lakers, won in the bubble. Uh, I feel like he revamped his career, his I wouldn't say legacy, but definitely his career and his style of play. Uh, moving on, we have... What's his style? What? J- J- like, he went from being a known clown to a decent big man. Why would like, a clown on the court? Yeah, because he was bad. He was bad. Uh, Bruce Brown, staying in Brooklyn for one year and four mil. That is a very... Like, that was key f- to keep him. Because now there's rumors that DeAndre Jordan might leave or wanted to get traded, they did bring back uh, Blake Griffin for, I believe, one year as well. Uh, the big three that the Nets have, all their contracts expire next year, so it's either you re-sign now or you wait out this season and sign next season. But still do they keeping... Do to afford them all? Yeah, they definitely okay. do. Yeah, with uh, Bruce Brown, uh, that was still a pretty big keep because he's going to be a key. He, he did play a key for the Brooklyn Nets during their playoff run. Uh, backing up James Harden, even when James Harden went hurt. He was still putting up his numbers. But uh, that's why they signed most of these players to only one-year contracts, just in case for next year, because they want to keep that big three, which makes sense. You have three future Hall of Famers on one team, so makes sense. Uh, you have Carmelo going to the Lakers. Like I said earlier, LeBron and Carmelo are now teammates after their 19th season in the NBA, which is insane to think about. Almost 20 seasons. Kobe retired at 20 seasons. You know, Vince Carter retired at 22 seasons. But for just to be, like, friends for that long and still, put like, play that high of level in the NBA when you're 30-something or 36, 37 is still unbelievable. Carmelo was bad for some time. He wasn't bad. He was never bad. Because Carmelo went from the Knicks, and then from the Knicks he went to uh, Houston. He played there for 10 games, and then we cut him. I don't know why, but we yeah, did. Yeah, I, I, I remember, I remember yeah. seeing that. He was like, cut, he was cut from the league. Like like no, we ago. cut him We cut him in 2018. That was, yeah, our, that was our big playoff run. Yeah, yeah. so that was what, yeah, I was about to say. That. I remember seeing that. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, this guy's a And then he now, went, no, and then he went to the Thunder, and then from the Thunder he went to Portland, proved himself in Portland, and then now he's joining uh, LeBron in L.A. So you had a short journeyman stint? Kind of, but... I guess you could say that. I guess. That would be pretty suitable for him. Uh, we have James Johnson going from the Pelicans to Brooklyn. Again, on another one-year deal. That's more the pattern for Brooklyn right now. Uh, James Johnson, he'll still be pretty good. I remember him when he was putting up good numbers for the Heat. I haven't really watched him in New Orleans, but I still think that he'll still put up numbers for Brooklyn. Uh, Blake Griffin, one-year, two mil. On, again, another one-year contract for Brooklyn. But Blake Griffin, uh, he's 32 years old right now. Uh, he wasn't too, too bad um, playing for Brooklyn. There's also rumors that LaMarcus Aldridge might come back to Brooklyn uh, uh. after after coming, uh, after coming having a uh, serious heart, uh, heart problem. So that's why he had to retire for a bit. But now I think he's cleared and he, he's seriously – Andre Drummond, right? No, not Andre Drummond. Um, LaMarcus Aldridge. 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, He's okay. seriously coming. He's seriously like considering coming back. I know we already skipped him, but Enes Kanter apparently has ten arrest warrants from the Turkish president on him for standing up to the human rights crap that's going on there. I just oh I just, yeah, I just saw him. I just yeah, saw yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it was during 2020 last uh, last June, last July, obviously when all the events were taking place. He was like one of those big like supporters for it. Yeah, and, so and obviously he has those warrants now. <laughs> he's going to tweet like hashtag unbelievable. And then he said hashtag dictator Erdogan regime issued nine <laughs> arrest warrants against yeah. me. Yeah. Real reason behind this standing up for human rights, freedom, and political prisoners who are getting tortured. And he said, I don't care if it's nine or 9,000 months. I'm giving up. What a guy. I yeah. like this Enos Cancer guy. Uh, uh, we have Trevor Reza going from Miami to, to Los Angeles for one year, two mil. Um, same thing with Dwight, same amount of contract, same money. It's just the veteran minimum. Now, Dwight, I still think, can play not as his former self back in 2011 or 2012 before he got that back surgery. But uh, with Trevor Ariza, he, he will be pretty, not big, but he'll still play his role. I just don't see Dwight Howard and Trevor Ariza really helping the team as much only if the year was like 2009. How old is Dwight? 35. He's 35. Wait, is he not good anymore? No, he no, he's still good. He's still one of the like I want to say the best, but he's still a very good big man to pick up on the team. He's just not in his prime. Exactly, bro. In his prime, he took a team basically with nobodies for the Orlando Magic and carried them to the finals, but he got swept by Kobe. So he went up against Kobe. And it was literally the Lakers versus Dwight, which was pretty insane. And he was probably one of the best big men. But fun fact, you know that's why Shaq kind of hates him? Who, Dwight Howard? Yeah, wow. because, because Dwight started using his Superman name, his nickname, Shaq. Used, uh, he has a lot of nicknames. But Shaq? Yeah, Shaq. He has the Diesel, Superman, uh, you know, and et cetera. But uh, Dwight really liked the Superman name. But their careers in the beginning was very similar. You had um, you had both being drafted by Orlando, right? Making a deep playoff run. Uh, obviously, Shaq and uh, Penny Hardaway ran into Jordan in '93, but the next year they lost in the finals to the Rockets in '94. But Dwight, same thing. Uh, then after their time in Orlando, both of them basically went to the Lakers, right? For Shaq, it was a masterpiece, three peat with Kobe. With Dwight, it was a complete shit show. It was a complete shit show with Dwight. That's that's when he came back from his back surgery, and he was never the same. Like his career was probably here, playing with Kobe. Everybody had high expectations, like, oh, this is the next Kobe and Shaq duo, blah blah blah. Crash. Hit rock bottom. Yep. He ba basically hit rock bottom. Developed a bad situation. Then he went to Houston. Was no better with James Harden. And then he went to Atlanta, Charlotte. Um, he went to uh, L.A., and then back to Philly, and then L.A., and then back to Philly. Basically, ever since ever since that Lakers, the first Lakers run, because this is his third time coming back to L.A., his third time. So ever since that first L.A. run, like his, he, ha he hasn't been the same. But his, like if you have Dwight Howard in free agency, you will definitely pick him up. Uh, Andre Drummond going to Philly. They basically swapped Dwight Howard and uh, Andre Drummond. They basically swapped one year, yeah, two mil. Isn't there like good depth pieces then? To have Andre Drummond. I don't know how he's gonna work in Philly because you'll have uh, Ben Simmons if they do keep him. Uh, you have. Um, Wait for depth. I mean. Uh, they wouldn't play Andre Drummond for depth. Depth. They would play him as a starter. They'd probably play him as a starter because if you keep Ben Simmons, uh, you have uh, Seth Curry, Tobias Harris. You probably put Andre Drummond at the four and then Joel Embiid at the five. Which is a very good starting five, but other than Curry. yeah, other than Seth Curry, you really have no shooters on that Curry team. Seth Curry as good as Steph Curry? No. Okay, no. No, but he is very good though. Seth Curry is still was very good. Was he drafted? Good. Huh? Was he drafted? No, I believe Seth Curry was undrafted, and Steph Curry went drafted in two thousand seven or something like that. Or two thousand nine, two thousand nine or two thousand eight. I always get it mixed up. But uh. Any other names? Otto Porter going to Golden State for one meal, uh, one year, two mil. Pretty good pickup. Uh, I really have nothing else to say. Malik Monk going from Charlotte to uh, the Lakers. Monk. 
Yeah, he was drafted when he was drafted, I believe, in 2017. He was a pretty high draft pick. I Give still don't. Pick. What? Give him a pick. The fifth or the sixth fifth. or the fourth with the. Sh- okay, uh, the top ten pick. Yeah, he was a top ten pick. I assume he's kind of flopped. He, I don't think he still has developed into that expectation everybody has. Is he, is he like a late bloomer kind of guy? Like he ever has I, a I, or just has I don't think yet. he'll be a late bloomer. I think the way he's playing right now, he'll stay most of that for the rest of his career in the NBA. But he's still a pretty good shooting guard, his, uh, pretty good shooter. He was good for the Hornets, but obviously anybody can be good for the Hornets if you really had no other help. Um, help? I assume he was drafted by the Hornets? Yes. And um, he's now going to L.A. Uh, we have uh, Frank Kaminsky going to Phoenix. Uh, it's still not official, but obviously still a pretty good pickup if uh, Phoenix do pick him up. Um, now, I'm just going to name a bunch of free agents that uh, bought out their contract to sign with another team. So a perfect example is Kemba Walker. He bought out I heard his about that today. Yeah. He bought out. Thunder, right? He bought. Yep. He bought out his contract with the um, with the Thunder, and he uh, signed with the Knicks for four years, eighty-one mil. That's pretty good. And then Julius Randle also has an extension, four years, uh, one hundred seventeen mil. So the Knicks are looking pretty good. That's why I said with the addition of Kemba Walker, Evan Fournier, Julius Randle, there's actually hope between the two New York teams. So. New York is looking, yeah. New York is looking very good. Um, the probably the biggest name in free agency. Uh, he actually turned down his player op or his contract. I don't know if he's going to resign. He probably will, but it's Kawhi Leonard. He still hasn't signed with anybody yet. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to go back to Los Angeles to stay with Paul George. Um, that's my assumption. I don't see where else he could go. If he rejected his contract, why would he go back there? Because for more money. He was on a team option. Oh. He can re-sign for a player option, so if he ever wanted to leave, he doesn't have to, like, you know, okay. deal with the consequences, and he's making more money. Okay, you know? that makes sense. Uh, the only other place that I'd really like to see him go is probably Miami with uh, Kawhi Leonard, Jimmy Butler, um, Kyle Lowry, P.J. Tucker, and Bam. That would be a very dangerous starting five. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, he apparently wanted 100 mil after playing, like, shit for the Lakers. In their playoff run, e- even though they got eliminated in the first round due to injuries, that was the main uh, the main um, pattern in in this year's playoff run. But even still, a hundred mil for Dennis Schroeder, like it's very undeserving. How many years? Huh? How many years? He wanted, I believe, three or two years. A hundred like mil. Fifty mil a year, pretty much. Basically, and he didn't play that. He didn't play like a hundred mil. So my assumption is he's going to go to an- another team that maybe needs a starting point guard. Maybe uh, the Clippers, they do need a uh, point guard. I actually wanted Spencer Dinwiddie to go to uh, the Clippers because he would have been a um, – uh, I don't think he was an all-star, but he was close to an all-star level with Kawhi and Paul George. That would have been pretty good. Uh, but Dennis Schroeder, he's not going to get his 100 mil that he wanted. He'll be a backup point guard or he'll be a starting point guard and maybe a team that probably needs a point guard like the Clippers or the Pacers – or um, maybe no, I wouldn't even say Cleveland. I wouldn't even say Cleveland or the Bulls. I want I I, I didn't mind him going to Chicago before they got Lonzo, but those were my assumptions. Uh, Andre Iguodala, uh, I think he uh, will resign with the Heat because he's uh, 37 now. He's close to retirement. Um, unless he wants to go back to Golden State. To where he won his two rings in his finals Does Golden MVP. State won Ig- Iguodala? They wouldn't mind him because Iguodala is 37, but he'll, he'll still put up numbers for a 37-year-old. Well, I was doing that because of, like, oh, of the, the Max, Max Kellerman, Kellerman meme. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Like, Does Golden State want Iguodala? Yeah. What was the scenario? Was like, if, like, He's Martin like, no, no, no. He was like, fate of, fate of the universe on the line. Who do you want taking the last shot? Steph Curry, which is the best shooter ever to touch a basketball. Behind Ray Allen, right? Yeah. The best shooter, or you want Andre Iguodala. With the Martians pointing the beam at planet Earth, who do you want? He says, I want Iguodala. A, yeah, he want, I want Iguodala. Which is a very funny, obviously, I don't think I don't think he was being serious, bro. He's probably doing it just for uh, entertainment for his show, but 
even still, like it's still an outrageous claim. <laughs> uh, Kelly Oubre Jr. Cool. There's rumors that he might go to Houston. Hell. Uh, I personally don't want him in Houston. I don't think he'll fit with Houston. He's you more. Should, you should. It'd be a good publicity stunt for you guys. Get all the women to come to you guys. <laughs> no, he is a know. he is a woman magnet. But I saw, I uh, he's that. more of a ball dominant, uh, like small forward. I don't think he'll fit with what we have going on right now with Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green, and um, Christian Wood coming back. But that's just my opinion. Uh, JJ Redick uh, maybe re signing to Dallas. Um, that'd be another still good shooter, but like I said earlier, like that'd be too many guards for. Dallas to worry about. They still have to worry about, like, bigs. What they really have to worry about uh, during this free agency or trades is getting rid of Chris Stapps Porzingis because he is not what he used to be uh, when he used to play for the Knicks. Was he good? He was very good with the Knicks. Is he washed now? N- no, he's just not playing as well as he used to do. Is he a good fit for No, for and people, people had high expectations because it was supposed to be Luka and Chris Stapps both foreign people, they both speak the same language, and it was supposed to be a good duo, but it didn't pan out. And um, I want to say probably just one more uh, more important player. Uh, I'd say Alfred Payne. He was more known for playing with the Magic, uh, spent some time, I believe, in Chicago, and then came to New York. Uh, he is a free agent. Obviously, right now it is to, uh, to be determined, but... He was. I feel like he was a very good backup point guard uh, or shooting guard, depending on what what position they wanted to play him in uh, behind Reggie Bullock. But they lost Reggie Bullock, so I I definitely want them to re-sign uh, Alfred Payne, and I feel like it'd be pretty good. You know. I think you're forgetting one more player. What? In Folden. I forgot what the guy's last name. Folden something. Folden. Folding these nuts all over <laughs> your hand. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Oh, I worked. This guy is a fool. I'm cutting it out. No, don't cut it out. It'll be nah. funny. Cut it out. Please don't cut it out. Nah. Yeah, please. 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 I get it. Get this guy. <laughs> you made a gay joke and now you're begging me. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Other than that, I mean, you have uh, Giannis's brother, Kostas. There's another one? Yeah, <laughs> there's three. There's apparently four. I heard about Alex Antetokounmpo. Yeah. I was like, I thought it was uh, the one that's on the Bucks with them, and then the and, and then Giannis, the one, and then, yeah. uh, the the one, one, on one in overseas. Yeah. Was he drafted? No. Really? Apparently, there's four. I always thought there was only three. I don't know. I know. I only there. thought I there was Alex only three. Alex Antetokounmpo is the youngest one of the Bucks, but yeah. I yeah. But Costa. I, I didn't know about Costa. Uh, he's well. he's from the Lakers. Uh, I feel like they'll uh, they'll resign him. He did win a ring in the bubble. Uh, you have uh, Dionis, Dionis. I don't know how to pronounce his first name, but the that second, bro- uh, the second Honor de Kumpo brother who played for the Bucks that just won with Dionis. Um, other than that, like that's pretty much it for the free agency right now, as as terms of like big name free agents or solid name free agents. Blevins, that's all I need to name Blevins. What Blevins? <laughs> Kel- Kelgen Bat Blevins. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I never heard of him. Is he related to Ninja Tyler Blevins? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, Ninja has a stepbrother. And, uh, other than that, I'm pretty much done with the NBA draft, unless you want to add on something. But This guy busted a nut over Jalen Green coming to the Rockets. Oh, such a good pick. That's bro, I'm telling you, bro, he has high expectations. He's comparable to Tracy McGrady, bro. Who? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't know who Tracy McGrady is. Cut him some slack. He he never watches the NBA, but I watch MLB occasionally and mostly hockey. No, but Jason McGrady was a very good shooting guard. He played for the Raptors, and the Magic. Football. I watch a lot of football. But he has comparisons to Tracy McGrady, which is very very good. So, I mean, other than that, I'm pretty much all set. If you have anything else to talk about, no. Seven time All Star NBA selection scoring champ. No. When did he retire, Tracy McGrady? He's 42, so obviously he's not. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Um, not Tracy McGrady, ago. he retired in. Um, obviously, his obvious. last really good season was in 2008 with the Rockets with Yao Ming. Uh, he did. He came back, or er, uh, like later in his career before he retired. 
Um, but I'm gonna look it up right now. Irish. 2013. Yeah. When? How old were you when you retired? He's 42 right now. Yeah, that's like what eight years ago. So you retired as a 33 year old, 34 year old. Well, really? well, you have to. Well, obviously, you don't know, but he had he had his. I mean, even though he was on his last legs, like he was getting a little older, he got his uh, he got his career cut short because of injuries. Okay, that makes sense. You know, like leg injuries or something, arm injuries. Leg injuries. Okay, he was he more he depended more on his athleticism than shooting, which is like Jalen Green. But Jalen Green can shoot a little bit better than Trace and Grady, in my opinion. But I mean, other than that, do you have anything else to talk about? Not really. All right. <laughs>